welcome back in this video let's look at something called cdi context and dependency injection so if you hear about this thing called context and dependency injection and were wondering what it is all about then this video is a good place to be at spring framework introduced this concept called dependency injection and also it introduced something called a ioc container inversion of control container so cdi tries to standardize this as part of the java ee so cdi is like the interface it defines the different annotation so it says at inject at named at singleton these are the different annotations which needs to be used and the cdi implementation frameworks would provide the functionality a comparable thing would be jpa and hibernate so jpa is a interface java persistence api defines the api and hibernate understands the api which is defined by jpa and provides the implementation for that similar to that cdi is a interface defining how to do dependency injection it says if i want to auto wire something in then you would need to use at inject if you would want to do at named that means you are defining a component since so the comparable spring annotation for cdi at named is at component and the comparable for at inject is at auto wired so cdi tries to define common annotations for use with dependency injection spring supports almost all the features of containers and dependency injection so instead of using the spring annotations at auto wired you can use the annotation at inject instead of using at component i can use at named let's look at an example for cdi right now before i use cdi i would need to add something to our dependencies so in the pom.xml i would need to add in a small dependency so just below spring boot starter i would start saying dependency and we will need to add in a group id and artifact id for each of the dependencies so group id artifact id and over here we need to add a version as well the group id for cdi is java x dot inject and the same is also the artifact id and the version which i are going to use is one so let's save that you can wait for the dependency to come in so you can see that the project is building so it's actually downloading the dependency also wait for it to complete and in the maven dependencies we now have the java x dot inject one dot jar and if you look at it it has a few simple annotations defined that's basically all there is about cdi cdi does not do anything other than defining a few annotations and it says okay if an at inject is there then do this if an at an named is there then do this so this is like an interface i would want to create a simple example to use the annotations what i'll do is i'll create a new class so i'll go to spring in five steps and say new class and i'll call this some cdi business the name is not really important make sure that you are putting it in a package called dot cdi so in the dot cdi package spring in five steps dot cdi package i'm creating some cdi business and i'll copy this and paste this again oops i'll copy this and paste this again and call this some db cdi dao so i'm creating a business and a dao and the business depends on the dao so some cdi dao some cdi da and let's create a getter and setter as well so generate getters and setters for some cdi da select all please and press enter that's cool control shift f organize imports now that's cool oops the i don't really like the fact that it's uh, so many caps so i'll just say some cdi and uh, so i'm just trying to make it more 
appealing to our eye and same is the case with some CDI business or some CDI business. So we now have a very simple example, right? So some CDI business and some CDI DAO. Typically, when we are using Spring, what we do, this is a component. How do we say that? This is a component, at component. That's how we do that, right? So we are defining at component here and over here also we put an at component and over here we would say this is at auto wired to say okay fine. spring find the dependency for me and give it auto wire it in here and here since we provided a setter it would use setter injection so that's cool right so now we have a simple dependency which is being used by the business class now i'll copy the scope application and create a new application for our cdi stuff quickly so c d i application and let's go to the CDI application and over here, let's not worry about all the DAOs which are present in here. What we are really worried about is just one class. So let's remove this person DAO and this stuff which is present in here. And instead of that, what we are really interested in is the CDI stuff. So what we want to get is the some CDI business. So some CDI business dot class let's import it in first and i'll change this out here as well and rename this to business okay this is i mean nothing uncommon this is exactly what we have been doing until now a lot of times so what whatever you'd see here would be something straightforward so right click run as java application this would print the content of the business bean so if i look at it right now so you can see that the business bean is printed in here. So if you want to be sure that auto wiring is taking place properly, I can also add in something else. So I'll say DAO and say, I'll add in the business.dao as well. So business.get some CDI DAO. I can run this again and you would see that the DAO is also printed. DAO is also getting auto wired. So the bean is managed by Spring. That's cool. So this is something which we have been doing until now. Nothing new in here. However, CDI proposes a new way of doing this. So CDI says instead of at component, do something called at named. So instead of at component, it's called at name. And instead of at auto wired, it's at inject. I'll import the at inject in and go to the CDI DO and even here it's at named and I can organize the imports control shift O over here as well and now run the example again. You'd see that the output does not really change. So whether you use the spring annotations or the CDI annotations, it does not really matter because spring implements CDI. If we take a quick look at the jar for CDI, let's at inject, that's the one which we looked at earlier as well. So javax.inject1.jar. You'd see that there are a few class files which are present. Very simple ones. We have already looked at inject and name. The other important ones are qualifier, scope and singleton. So scope is very similar to setting the scope. So whether you'd want a singleton or a prototype, that's the scope which is present. So this is very similar to the scope annotation. The qualifier is very similar to the qualifier annotation which we looked at earlier. So whenever you have two components satisfying a single dependency, you can use a qualifier to distinguish them as well. Singleton is one of the scopes which are present. So instead of saying at singleton, I mean, in Spring, the way we would define that would be at scope, this is equal to some provider dot singleton. Instead of that, you can just say at singleton in terms of the CDI annotations. The annotations which are provided by CDI are really simple ones and Spring provides the implementations for those annotations as well. So in addition to the Spring annotations, you can also use the CDI annotations. Now, the most difficult question to answer is whether you should use CDI or whether you should use Spring. I think it's a tricky question to answer. CDI is a Java EE standard. So you are talking about using something which is really a standard, which is something which a lot of people would like to do, right? So you'll always want to stick to a standard. So instead of using Hibernate, you would want to use a JPA and then use Hibernate as the implementation. So similar to that, maybe you'd want to do use a CDI to provide your annotations 
and you can use Spring as the implementation to it. As far as I'm concerned, this is not a situation where all the advantage is loaded on one side. It's not like a 90-10 decision. It's more like a 49-51 kind of a decision. And I don't really have a favor with either of those. So whether you want to use CDI annotations or Spring annotations, you can go ahead and use them because you are going to use Spring as the implementation anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And in this course, we would continue using Spring annotations from here on. So in this course, this would be the last time you are hearing about the CDI annotations. But CDI does offer really good flexibility tomorrow if you would want to switch away from Spring as a dependency injection framework, if you use CDI, you have that option. But would I really do that? I am not really sure. Hope I confused you enough. Until the next step, bye-bye.